in this video we are discussing about the float frequency analysis using Gumbel's method so let's start it first of all we have the discharge data from the year 1980 to 2018 for a station okay uh, you can find the data in the authority of the governments related to the hydrology and metallurgy okay here and we have the uh, discharge the maximum discharge particular here make sure that this discharge is not your uh, mean discharge but the maximum instantaneous discharge okay there is quite difference and i want to request you to please go through the theory at least once to understand the basics okay the next column we have is the q that is the discharge okay so we have a uh, particular year and the maximum discharge for that year okay what we do is we need to rank the discharge in the descending or means the maximum value at the top and so on so let me first copy all these values and paste it here is I want to sort it in the descending order okay so I go to data and go to short I'll say continue with the current selection and short here I want to select order that is largest to smallest and I click OK so you see that now it has been sorted in the descending order okay the next column we have the rank uh, the variable associated is M so the first rank would be rank 1 and so on so let me create this plus 1 and let me expand the formula okay so these are the corresponding rank for his discharge okay what we do next is we want to calculate the uh, probability so for the formula probability is m that is divided by n plus 1 so m is our rank n is the total number of data in our case total number of data is 39 okay so let's me let me apply the formula is equal to m m is our this uh, d8 value okay m that is divided by n plus 1 n is our uh, total value that is this plus one now it will work for this set of data but I want to expand it so if I expand it this B47 might change to another uh, cell right so I want to keep it constant for that let me apply the dollar and dollar so even if we change dr drag the uh, formula this value would be constant so I press enter and now let me ex expand the formula so this is our probability right now we have to calculate the return period return period is nothing but the reciprocal of probability so I'll go for equal to 1 divided by and probability so let me expand it okay the next thing we need is yt okay so how do we calculate the yt and what is this yt yt is actually the reduced variate okay and to calculate the yt we have the formula minus ln whole bracket ln t upon t minus 1 so basically yt is the function of uh, written period so what we do is we need to apply the ln function so is equal to ln sorry negative ln minus ln bracket again ln here you go with t this is t that is divided by i'd go for again t minus one bracket close and bracket close i press enter okay now we have our yt 
let me expand it the next thing we need is kt okay kt is the frequency factor now to calculate the kt you have to estimate yt yn and sn okay so what are yn and sn so yn and sn are the reduced standard and the reduced mean and they are the function of the uh, number of sample okay so before that let me uh, calculate all those mean median things okay let me remove this i don't need this for example okay i need to retain the n let me calculate the maximum within these values okay from our uh, uh, data of discharge let me calculate the maximum value for that we apply max and let me select the range that is from here to the last one okay so this is the maximum value for the mean simply go to mean and uh, select the same range for median sorry equal to and median again the same range that is this okay for mean we need to have average average and the same range standard deviation that is equal to std ev dot s and the range the next one is this q it uh, it informs that what is the uh, orientation of the distribution right it's uh, left skewed right skewed okay for that we just go to equal to and skew and select the range okay so you have yn and sn so yn and sn as i said earlier they are functions of uh, the number of uh, data okay our number of data is 39 now to calculate the number of data you can use the count function okay apply is equal to count and select the range it's better to apply formula because for small number of data it might be easy for the larger number of data it's not uh, you know uh, convenient to count each and every so you just apply the formula it will count okay so for where nation where our n number of data is 39 so here is our uh, table for yn and sn so for each uh, sample size their particular value of yn and sn okay in our case we have uh, n 39 so for 39 let me go to 39 and say here is these two values are the values for uh, yn and sn okay for 39 you can manually uh, copy and paste them there but i suggest you to apply the formula the vlookup formula because again the same thing uh, here the data is limited so you could easily manually you know copy and paste but what if the data we have thousands of data right so it's always better to apply the vlookup so let's learn how to lose vlookup i will go it's called to vlookup we look up now which value do we want to look we want to look this n value this one and what's the table area table area is out this let me select the table area column index is which column do we have? for y n we want uh, one two
gumbel two and I want it exact match what happened here sorry I need to have false I want the exact match I'll false still not working what happened here V look up uh, B47 at gumbel Oh no, there's an error. It's not Gumbel, right? Let me rewrite the formula. Let's uh, it's V look up. The value we want to look up is this, and the table we want is from here. So let me select the array. and we want to go to this second column okay for y n when we select two and we want exact exact math so i'll type false and press enter so you get zero one four five four three for 39 yeah for 39 the corresponding value of yn is 0 0.453 you could directly copy and paste it as i said earlier but it's better to use formula i strongly recommend to use the formula okay similarly for sn it's almost same formula except for the uh, column index okay so i can copy the formula simply copy it and uh, paste formula what I want to do is I want to edit it our n is b47 so I'll be searching for b47 and the index number would be 3 in our case okay now let me recheck it for 39 1.138 exactly 1138 so this is how you estimate the yn and sn okay using p lookup okay now our task is to calculate the kt so for kt you need yt yn and sn uh, yt we've already estimated yn and sn we have estimated so let us calculate kt that is equal to yt minus yn yt is uh, g8 value i've selected minus yn is this value and it is to be divided by sn sn is this value so again uh, in our case yn and sn are they are constant so let me put the dollar sign over here and here okay and let me press enter so kt is calculated i want to drag it up to here okay now i want to calculate the uh, qt that is q predicted uh, for that we have the formula xm plus kt sn minus 1 kt sigma n minus 1 uh, that is the xm average xm average discharge value and kt is corresponding kt and sigma n minus 1 is our uh, standard deviation okay so let me apply the formula is equal to xm means the average value that we have calculated uh here is the average value plus kt that is this is the kt into sigma n minus one the standard deviation uh that is we have here standard deviation and in this formula kt would be changed so let me put the dollar sign here 
in xm i want to keep it constant and sigma n minus 1 also constant so i'll put it this way okay and let me expand it now since i am uh, calculating the float frequency analysis performing the float frequency analysis i want uh, these values for different years maybe two year five year 10 50 100 500 and so on right up to thousand ten thousand years now this small set of data it won't be reliable okay the more data you have the better result would be uh, so let me expand this value for different years this for this and like this okay now we have calculated the predicted discharge, uh, we have the written period and we have the observed discharge, okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to plot the data. For that, uh, let me calculate the, let me enter here, the written period. So here you have the written period. let me copy it and paste here sorry I have to paste as value okay the next thing is Q absorbed Q absorbed would be our corresponding ranked Q okay so let me copy it and paste here the next thing is q predicted q predicted is our qt so i'll be copying qt values and i'll paste here no no i have to paste as values right okay now let me plot the data okay so for that I want to select all the three columns and go to insert and go to scatter plot insert scatter plot okay I am doing this now we have this graph but uh, it doesn't look so meaningful here so look at the uh, difference in the axis values okay so what I want to do is for the x axis for the written period I want to make it logarithmic so I have to select the axis right click on it and go to format axis and I want it to be logarithmic scale okay and what I want to do with the y axis is I want it to start from uh, say 3000 so I will apply here 3000 okay the next thing i want to do is i want to draw a best fit line so i want to select the uh these values predicted values and right click add trend line and select the logarithmic okay so that's how it looks the uh, blue one they are the Q observed the blue dots the orange dots they are the uh, predicted discharge okay so this is how we have performed uh, the float frequency analysis using the Gombels method